Hey guys, so I'm gonna be taking a little video today with my frilled dragons, hopefully showing you um, them eating, so I'll be feeding them a little bit and talking a little bit about them. So, my frilled dragons just got to see these guys enjoying it out here as I hope they are and again it's just been a real pleasure to care for these animals as well. So I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about the frilled dragons, specifically the Indonesian frilled dragons which is the subspecies that I'm keeping. So I have three frilled dragons inside of here. They've been quite difficult to find which is something I actually like. When it comes to keeping reptiles in captivity, is no such thing as too big. Really any exotic animal who's completely relying on you for the captive care. Really the bigger the better. There's no such thing as too big, no such thing as too enriching, and so on. So we hope to do well by these guys and just hope to do better and better along the way. Okay, so let's see if we can find these guys. A couple times I've been looking for them, they've actually been like right in front of my face. So you can see I put some spring mix in here today. It looks like maybe they messed with it. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, and I think I see some leggings. Right down there, that looks like a tail. So I'm going to just take out, this is the dish I've been putting their super worms in. It doesn't look like they knocked it over, so I'm hoping that means that they actually Probably because these animals are most likely wild caught from Indonesia. Indonesia exports a lot of their wildlife, especially reptiles. So I really believe these guys probably came from the wild. There are not many people in the United States that are successfully breeding them, but I hope to eventually have some little real dragons that I can provide in captivity that are not taken from the wild because they're really awesome to keep. They're very resilient. As you can see, they've traveled so, so far to be here. Um, they're strong, they're smart, they're beautiful, regal, and I just really have a love for them, and I'm sure a lot of others could too. Nice rain day here. These animals thrive in high humidity. They thrive in the rain. They're 
they're from the rainforest in Indonesia, so it's really how they get hydrated, and I think they're really, really good. So I'm super excited that they get to experience it naturally versus me having to mist their habitat, mist their terrarium all the time. And I think they're really gonna enjoy this rain. Do you guys like the rain?
super gorgeous.